И помните, безопасность превыше всего. Hey everyone, this is Jeff of Tal Flare Mouse. I hope you're doing well. Today we have an exciting project coming all the way from St. Petersburg, Russia, from our good friend Alexei Lavrov. This is a prototype that he calls the Red Death. This is a very nicely machined solid copper 12 gauge projectile, and it has a perfectly flat nose, and I'll explain the reason for that. When a slug with a rounded nose goes through brush and strikes a small branch, it will of course go right through that branch, but it'll also cause the projectile to deflect a little bit and possibly miss what you're aiming at. With the flat nose design, which you could almost call it a wad cutter, when it strikes a branch, it'll continue going straight through without much deviation at all. Today we'll be testing these at a velocity of 1400 feet per second or for 26 meters a second. The Azot style wad, which some of you may have recognized, will stay attached to the copper projectile during the test. But since the copper nose is a subcaliber projectile, we will have to use a discarding Sabo, and the purpose of that is to keep it centered in the barrel. Let's head out to the test facility and see how these perform. He is aiming at the center. There's a red mark on there. Uh, I can't see the laser dot. <laughs> you can't see the lasers out here. They all, people always suggest that. Like, like, like when you mount a laser on something, it's going to actually align with where it's going to impact. or <laughs> It doesn't. You'd have to have some... Every time you change the distance, you'd have to retry, you know, try to recalculate that. You just have to trust this, that he's aiming at that red mark. Okay, it's that simple. They want to they want to blame you for something, I think. I think that's the deal. They want to blame Danny and you go You know, he is human, you know, but he does have cyborg like accuracy. <laughs> and they, they want to find your Achilles heel or, or something, you know. You know how the people on the internet are. Okay, I'm ready. Careful, I'm not blow a fuse. <laughs> Take All your right, time. There we go. Center mass. All right, test number one, here it comes, steady as a rock. Absolutely phenomenal performance. And what surprises me in this test is how to form the copper projectile is when it hit the very soft lead. Very accurate. Yeah. I couldn't see the X marks the spot there, so I was kind of guesstimating center of mass. And can't complain. Can't complain at all. How far away was that? Uh, 20 yards? Yeah, just about. Okay. Not super distance. We'll, we'll, we'll send some long range and stuff. About what? Uh, 63 and a half cabbages. Yeah. Okay, turn it around, yeah. see if there's any deformation on the back. Oh, yeah. It cracked it. Got a slight bulge. X marks the crack. Yeah. This is a, another odd target, just to demonstrate how much energy these have. A Kev, uh, the eBay Kevlar against a, a computer. I think I just went through it. It was starting to get a little bit windy out there, and the wind on the audio was a little bad. So uh, let me explain what's going on here. The copper projectile instead of being trapped in that Kevlar vest, ended up just cutting all the way through it and went all the way through the computer. Now, of course, that wasn't our intent. That was a big surprise. What we wanted was to catch the projectile and show how much back face deformation was occurring on the computer itself. The unintentional results that we got were nonetheless extremely impressive. This is the first projectile we've ever tested that has just gone right through this Kevlar panel. Now a small high-speed pointed bullet will just go through Kevlar quite easily, but this projectile with its relatively low speed and huge frontal area, that large flat nose, managed to go right through the Kevlar. I for one never expected that to happen.
in our 50 yard test shot just to give you an idea of its stability and accuracy at that range Danny was about three inches off now that may not seem very good if you're using advanced optics but considering the fact that Danny was just using the front bead sight that's pretty dang good also understand that we weren't given 50 of these to test we were given five to test that means no test shots and no sighting in oh and I want to thank officer Greg for providing these cool targets hydrostatic golf ball test I don't know how this is gonna pan out but it should be quite interesting <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely one of the wackiest targets we've ever used. This comes from the mind of Danny. This is how he thinks. I love the idea though. This is also the most precise test shot, hitting exactly where Danny was aiming. The copper projectile not only hit the ball that he was aiming at, it went right through the golf ball. And after some extensive searching, Danny actually found the ball. Finally, look at that. That's the only one we found that was damaged. That's the one I was aiming at because uh, this black mark here. Yeah. That was the one closest to me about oh, two and a half inches off the bottom. And for our final test, the ballistic jelly. This was an absolute pleasure to test out. An extremely accurate projectile that was almost unstoppable. Alexi also sent us a set of these in solid brass that we'll be testing soon. Can't wait to try that. Luckily you didn't, you, you, you hit the same spot where the, the candy slug hit. Carried a little bit of the candy in there with it. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Let's look at the back side here. Is that better? This looks neat. Okay. And you can see some of the little candy from a previous test. You hit the exact same spot. Really odd wound channel there, they're flat. Yeah, that's very weird. Like it was oscillating as it was going through there. Quite neat though. I think it's time to remelt that and use Danny's new stainless steel mold. Very nice. Yeah, we didn't put aluminum foil under it, we put a, a cookie sheet under it. See what it did to it. A lot of energy there. There you go. Maybe we'll stick with the aluminum foil because that we'll never get that straightened back out. Let's have another look at that clear ballistic gel shot. Absolutely beautiful, massive wound cavity. And a big thank you to Clear Ballistics for sending that gel over. Our viewers really appreciate it. And this was filmed with the Kronos 1.4 high-speed camera at 10,000 frames a second. We want to thank our channel members for their ongoing support and also our Patreon supporters. While we hope that you'll continue to support this channel, you're going to hear something that no other channel is probably going to tell you is with what's going on in the world right now, the importance of supporting a channel on YouTube, yeah, that may not be a very high priority for you right now. So there's absolutely no shame in reducing your pledge or eliminating it completely. Remember, you got to take care of you and your family first. And when things get back to normal, we hope you'll come back and support us again. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to rate the video, either good or bad, it doesn't matter. We also enjoy reading your comments. We'll see you next time, and I hope everyone stays safe and well.